Hello friends, in this video, we will learn the project called Home Automation with ESP32 and Link Platform. It is an engaging and a comprehensive exploration of how to create a smart and interconnected living space using the ESP32 microcontroller and the Blink platform. This project dive into the exciting world of Internet of Things which is called IoT technology allowing you to control and monitor various aspects of your home remotely through a smartphone or a tablet. So let's get started. Following are the components used in this project. So we'll take the ESP32 microcontroller as you can see in this video. After that, we would take two channel 5 volt relay module as you can see in this video. Then we will take the mini breadboard. We will take the LED. Then the DC fan with two wires as connected in this video. And 3.7 volt 200 milliampere battery along with the holder and a USB cable and few jumper wires. Now let's start with the connection. Let's take the ESP32 microcontroller as you can see in this video. As you can see this four point which is win ground D13, D12, those are the four points where we need to connect the four wires. So you can take the four wires and connect in those four points. As you can see in this video. Once that is done, So now let's take two channel 5 volt relay module as shown in this video. As you can see in this uh, video, there are four points called ground and one and two we see. So we need to connect the remaining four wires which we connected to ESP32 to this relay module. So as shown in this video, we'll make the connection in the following way. Uh, we'll take the red wire and the red wire will connect to the relay module VCC point and the other side to ESP32 win. Similarly, we'll take the brown wire, we'll connect it to the ground and uh, we'll connect to the other side to ESP32 ground. Similarly, we'll take the yellow wire, we'll connect it to IN2 relay module and we'll connect to D12 to ESP32 side. And the fourth wire, uh, which is an orange, uh, we'll connect to IN1 on relay module and ESP32, we'll connect to D13. So this is how we'll make the connection. Now we'll take the red wire as you can see in this video and we'll connect to the second and the fifth point of the relay module as we are pointing. So this is the second point and this is the fifth point. We will insert that red wire inside both the point and with the screwdriver we will tighten the screw. Now let's take the fan and take one side, one wire and put it on the sixth point of the relay module and let's tighten the screw. Once that is done, let's take the LED and 
the two wires like in the led there would be two points uh, one point would be bigger compared to the other one so the bigger one we put it in the yellow one yellow wire and the other one on the green side and we take the yellow wire in the second end and we put it inside the relay module which is the third point right next to the second point of the red wire where we insert it so we will insert it into the third wire third point once it is inserted let's tighten the screw now let's take the red wire male to male take one side of the red wire and insert in the fifth point where we have already inserted that red wire once we have inserted we'll take the screwdriver and we'll tighten the screw so this way we have made all the connections but uh, now we'll take the breadboard and we'll connect fan led and the third mill wire which we have connected <coughs> so we'll take the green wire from the led and put it on the last column of the breadboard and the fan gray wire right below the green wire and we'll take the red wire and we'll put it as you can see in this video after that we'll take the battery from which the red wire will insert on the same column as you can see where we have connected the red wire so both the red wire would be in the same column and the another point which is like a black wire in the last column where we have added gray green and the black wire so this is how we are done with our connection now we will take the usb wire and we'll insert into esp32 and then we'll upload the code if the connection is made properly then you will see red light in esp32 microcontroller so now let's get started with uploading the code and creating account on blink.io platform so we'll search for the blink cloud and we will go to the website if uh, we are not registered then we will create our account and after creating the account we will log in with the same credentials which we have created once the login is done successfully you will see the blink to if you are coming it for the first time you can skip it and after skipping it you will see the dashboard so now we will click on the new device to create the new device after clicking it we can click on the from template so one template is already created with quick start template so we can select that template from the drop down which says quick start template and we can specify the device name which could be quick start template or anything which we want to read like in this case we will put robo code once that is done uh, you can see the dashboard and we will go inside the device which we have created in that you will see the new template id template name and the blink authorization token which we need to use at the later stages inside the code i'll show you how to use that particular credentials in the code at the later stages for now we can skip this from the left side menu we will click on the template to edit the template so once we are inside the quick start template we need to change the data stream so inside the data stream we can see there are a couple of uh, things such as switch control switch value seconds button image so we will click on the edit button on the top right corner in order to edit 
the below values. So after clicking that, we will select the first one, which is the switch control. We will change the name to light. And uh, we'll keep the pin V0, data type integer, units none, minimum, max, and default value as by default, and advanced setting like show in service chart and show in reports. After doing that, we'll click on save button. So that's how we added light. We'll click on the switch value to add another thing, which is like a fan. So we'll type the fan and we'll keep everything same. V1, data type integer, units none, min max value, default value, and the advanced option. Once that is done, we'll remove the seconds because that is not needed in this project. We'll also remove the button image. And now we'll hit the save and apply. So the data stream has been edited with two devices. Once the template is configured on the Blink app, we will open up the code which we have given in the link using the Arduino IDE. So it's inside the home automation code and we'll click on home underscore automation 32. So this is how the code we will open up and then we will replace these three values with the values which you could find on the Blink website. So we'll replace the first line with the Blink template ID, the second line with Blink template name, the third one Blink authorization token and 17 and 18 line with the SSC ID and the password which is the Wi-Fi network ID and password. From the tools we'll select the port COM 9. So from the drop down we'll select do it ESP32 dev kit and we'll click on select others board and port. In that we will search ESP32 and we will select the option called do it ESP32 dev kit and COM9 serial port and we'll hit the OK button. Once that is done, we will open up the Blink website and we'll click the uh, robo code which we have created. In that, we'll go in the device info and we can copy the blink template id template name and the blink authorization token in the first second and the third line Also, we'll replace this auth array with the Blink authorization token. This template ID, template name and authorization token will vary from system to system. So accordingly, you need to replace. So now we will require the Wi-Fi uh, SSID and the password. So we'll click on the Wi-Fi icon on the bottom right corner. We'll click on the properties and Within the properties, we'll see the SSID as name Devik. We'll, we'll pick that name, we'll copy paste, and uh, we'll also enter the name of the. We'll also add the password which we have set for the Wi Fi. Once the necessary changes are done on line number 1, 2, 3, and 13, and 17 and 18. We will click the tick button which is right below the play which is right below the file so that will compile the code and it will check for any errors if there are and it will display on the black screen where it sees the output once the compile is done without any error we will click on the upload button and thus will upload the code on the ASP32 So it connects to the serial port COM9, which is connecting. 
if the Wi-Fi information is proper in that case we will get a success so it's writing on the ESP32 microcontroller So this is how the code is uploaded in the ESP32 microcontroller. Once the template is edited, uh, we will go to our mobile app, we will go to the Play Store and we will search for the Blink app which is with the name Blink IoT. After searching, we will install the application if it is not installed. Now we will open up the Blink app and we will click on the login, the credentials which we have created using that we will log in. So out of the two devices which we have created, we can see both the devices uh, out of which we will click the robo code. So we will go inside the robo code and we will change the template which you can see right here. First of all, we will remove all uptime button value and off button. So once that is done, we will click on the plus button, we will add the first button. We will click one time and we can increase the width of the button. And from the data stream, we will select the we'll select the light and we'll change the mode to switch. Now we will add one more button by clicking on the plus button and by clicking inside that and we'll change the data stream as fan and we'll change the mode to switch. So that's how we have two buttons on our screen. It's currently it says V0, V1. So we need to change those name to light and fan. The second button will make it slightly circular in order to make that as a fan. Now we'll go inside the V0 and we'll click on the design tab and we'll change the off to light off and on to light on. Similarly, we will do that for V1. We will click the V1, we will go inside the design tab and we will change the value off and on to fan off and fan on. So this is how we will design the template with light off and fan off button. So finally, this is how the connection would look like and we will insert the cable inside the ASP32 and once that is inserted, uh, you can see the red light and from our mobile app, we will open up the Blink app. If the login is already there, you will see robo code and you can click inside the robo code and you can see two button light off and fan off. So when you click light on, it will on the light and when you hit it again, it will turn off the light. Similarly, when you hit the fan on, it will take the fan on. So we can simultaneously turn on light and fan and we can switch it off light and fan by tapping it. So this is how you can conduct the home automation project. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.